This is great! <laughs> Lovely stretching. <laughs> oh, what is? Wow! What a nice pool! Uh, yes! Isn't it smashing? <laughs> How about a swim for us then? Sorry, members of Walter's Swimming Club only. How do we join? Well, rule one is you have to swear endless loyalty to me. And rule two is... Oh, hang on. It's the same as rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on. Not going to happen, Walter. You'll just have to put up with the heat then, won't you? Hi, <sighs> are you boys? You all know there's a water shortage, so no, no, no wasting water, OK? Us wasting water? What about Walter and his pool? D never mind, Walter. His pool's already filled. I'm telling you lot, and, uh, and, and remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. So now we can't even squirt each other with hose pipes. <sighs> My tongue's sweating. How are we going to cool off? There's only one thing for it, lads. We'll build our own pool. What about the water shortage? Don't worry, I'll think of something. First, we need to dig a big hole. Come on, Nasha, do your stuff. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh. The ground's too hard. We need a spade. Oh, what about this? Need a bit more power behind it. Hey, look! Me old pool go stick. That'll do it. Here we go, lads. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yes. Great, Nasha. Uh, uh. The heavier we are, the better. Room for one more. And me. That's right, lads. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Den. It's an awfully big hole. So what do you think this is, Den? I reckon this is the old Beano Town drains, which means there's got to be water round here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? Sounds promising. According to my calculations, that'll lead up next to the Colonel's garden. Let's check it out. Action stations! Dive! Dive! Bingo! It's the Colonel's place, all right. And he's sitting in a big paddling pool full of water. Uh, uh, is there uh, enough to fill a pool? It'd be a start. What about the Colonel? We'll just have to get rid of... <laughs> Whoa! 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 saying, oh, we'll just have to get rid of him. Oh. Do your stuff, my fishy friend. Yes. <laughs> Galloping gators, a piranha, abandoned ship. Retreat! Retreat! Ha ha! We've got the Colonel on the run. Now all we've got to do is siphon off his water. Back to the drawing board. Oof. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh well. At least it 
it's cool down here. Not the same as a nice pool, though, is it? Don't worry, Pie Face. We're going to get our pool and the water to put in it. Hang on. This looks hopeful. I'll take a look. Plenty of water. It's the overflow to Beano Town Lake. Emptying Beano Town Lake is such a good idea. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, that sounds more like it. It's Slipper! Cooling off with a Pipe and a garden sprinkler. What a cheek. After all that guff he gave us about not wasting water. Exactly. Well, I don't see why we can't borrow his hose pipe. We could run it back to my place. But what about the ban? It's a police hose pipe, Pie Face. How can it be illegal? Here goes. <laughs> Known. He's on to us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, you hooligans. I know you're down here somewhere. <laughs> oh, crumbs. Which way, Dennis? Um, uh, uh this one. Must have gone that way, unless oh Dennis left that door open to put me uh, to put me off the scent. Well, he, he won't fool me this time. Certainly not. It's not what it looks like. Ha, ha, ha. 
Matrix really livened up the family day at your dad's work. <laughs> I knew I'd find you here. It's my boss, Mr Scrimp. He wants both of us to report to his office right away. Oh, dear. I knew I shouldn't have taken you to the family day. Coming! Ah, what's his name? I want a word with this son of yours. So, young what's-his-name, was it you who put soap flakes in the cistern of the executive toilet? Me? I'm sure it was some sort of mis- Quiet what's-his-name! I'm talking to the boy. Hmm. And are you the same little rascal who put wind-up piranha fish in the water cooler? Stick out your tongue, Miss Jones. <laughs> well, that was just... Fair enough. It was me. Had to liven things up a bit. This place is so boring! No. <laughs> Excellent. That's quite a boy you've got there. What's his name? Eh? The thing is, we're creating a new range for the young consumer and we need young what's-his-name's expertise. How do you fancy creating your very own range of the ultimate practical jokes, eh? We'd call them the Menace Collection. Wow! You want me to design jokes? Exactly. You see, we've been having some problems with our prototypes. Cast your expert eye over them, young man. We tried to upgrade the squirty flower by inventing the squirty bouquet. <laughs> Certainly wet enough, but difficult to direct. Hmm, I see the problem. Let's see how good a golfer you are, what's his name? <laughs> As you see, our exploding golf balls don't always work. <laughs> I see. I'm sure I can improve that lot. Excellent. You have full access to my design team. A good man. Thanks for bringing young What's-His-Name to my attention. Oh, by the way, can you get hold of a pair of tartan trousers and a diamond-checked sweater? Yes, I think so. Good. Then you must join me at the golf club on Sunday. Me? At the golf club? Wow, I, I, I mean... Uh, of course, Mr. Scrimp. Get ready for joke number one, Mr. Scrimp, which Walter's kindly volunteered to test. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Time to give each plant its daily drink. Oh, I see. A new bush. Hmm. Father must have planted it. It's <laughs> 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 I think you'll find the squirty bush out wet, the squirty bouquet. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, bravo. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello, a, a spherical object approaching me from a, from a westerly direction. Oh, I can't resist it. Exploding golf balls. Ha! I take things to the max. <laughs> I love the added helping of Green Gunge. A master stroke. Well, what do you think of my outfit? Well, I do. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, you should have seen that lad of yours, what's his name? He's really coming up with the goods. All we need now is one top of the range joke and we're ready. Ready? Ready for what? Ready to open our first Menace Collection joke shop right here in Beano Town. I'll rent this place to some chap called Ho Ho or He He or something. You mean Mr. Ha Ha? That's the fellow. Anyway, we're going to close him down, then reopen as our very own joke shop. But Mr. Ha Ha's been there for years. Exactly. Time he got another job. But... So put your thinking cap on. I want to see something really special. <laughs> and I'll see you at the golf club on Sunday, what's his name? Mike me, Nasha. I think I must be dreaming. <laughs> ah! 
So, you found out that Mr Scrimp wants to close you down. How, how did you know that? Cos I'm the one who's inventing the jokes for the new store. Oh, no. Oh, yes. If I come up with a knockout practical joke, you'll lose your shop. If I don't, I won't get me dream job. And poor Dad won't get to the golf club. But, but, practical jokes are my life. Imagine never smelling another steak bomb, never feeling the tingle of a hand buzzer, never scaring Walter with a jumping spider. There must be a way out. Hang on. Nasha, get Curly and Pieface for a treehouse meeting. Top priority. Yes. So that's the problem. To put Scrimp off pranks for life, we need to come up with the mother of all practical jokes. It's got to be the biggest, best practical joke ever. What about a mega loud whoopee cushion? Or a super stinky stink bomb? Or a turbo powered space hopper? But wait, imagine if you will, not just a whoopee cushion, not just a stink bomb, not just a space hopper, but all these things rolled into one bouncy castle. The three in one. This is the ultimate, Mr Scrimp, the greatest of all practical jokes. Mm. Looks just like an ordinary bouncy castle to me. But it's so much more. Really? Presenting the three in one. One, two, three. Three awesome gags in one. I see. Well, it sounds good, but I have to see it in action. All I can say is it would take a brave man to try it out. A brave man, eh? Hmm. How about you, what's-his-name? Oh, no, uh, Mr Scrimper. I really think you should have the honour. Oh, well, uh, all right. Uh, here goes. Castle, but it is part whoopee cushion. Oh, oh, oh that smell! It's like rotten eggs and skunk's armpits. Whoa! I, I feel sick. It's also part stink bomb. Uh, oh, oh, what's the third part? Oh, oh. oh yeah, it's part space hopper. Whoa. Oh. What's all the commotion? It was Mr. Scrimp! He's out of control! What a fine display! And not a leaf out of place, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Wasn't us! <laughs> Practical jokes could be this dangerous. Oh, the project's off. Finished. Finito. But it, no buts, what's his name? Oh, jokes like this would ruin the company. Oh, so does that mean my invitation to golf's withdrawn? Eh? Not at all. Well, it turns out Scrimp's not going to close me down. Thanks to the three in one. And you've given me a great idea for a mini version. The Menace Ball. <laughs> Watch, listen and smell. <laughs> Plenty more ideas where that came from, Mr Ha Ha. What a brilliant day. Wonder how Dad's enjoying his game of golf. Keep up, what's his name? Come on, man! <laughs> yes, Mr. Scrimp. Of course, Mr. Scrimp. Hey, Dennis! Check this out! 
Looks like Nasha's got a famous twin. <laughs> if only, if Nasha was a celebrity, he could get us into the Rat Bucket gig tomorrow night. I still think we should ask Athena to get us some tickets. Look, Athena, the latest issues. Oh, my gosh, let me see. Yeah, she is Rat's only kid after all. No way. Athena wouldn't give us the time of day, especially if you go round swiping her mags. Miss Athena. Hmm. Weird looking creature, if you ask me. Still, fashion is fashion. <laughs> At last! Yes, the dog is an Abyssinian wirehead tripe hound. Rare? I should hope so too. No, I don't care what it costs. It's the number one fashion accessory with the in crowd. So get me in, or you'll be out permanently. You know what? I reckon Nasha might help us get into the gig after all. Yeah? How? Listen and learn, pie face. Better get going. I've got to feed my Abyssinian wire-haired tripe pound. Wait a minute. I remember that horrible mutt of his. Can it be? It can't be. It is! It's a tripe pound! Stop him, sugar! Hey! Come back! Yeah? What's up? <sighs> Miss Athena wants your dog. How much? Name your price. Sorry, girls. Nasha's not for sale. Nasha? Ugh. That name will have to go. Make a note, sugar. Change name of dog. No need. Like I said, Nasha's not for sale. At any price. There you go. <laughs> hmm, we'll see about that. Everyone has their price, even Dennis. Hey! Whoa, whoa. Wow! Is that what I think it is? The SuperCurl 3000 with built in surround sound and full remote control. <laughs> Direction finding system as standard. Do left hand 180 at the bottom of the drive for the skate park. Wow! And of course, it has 360 remote control tail spin ability. <laughs> that totally rocks! <laughs> Limited edition, of course, but you can have it in exchange for the dog. Uh, no thanks. It would take more than a skateboard to break up Nasha and me. <laughs> hmm, apart from his dog and his skateboard, what else does Dennis love? Astronomy, bees, hang gliding. No sugar, music. Especially guitars. With a rat bucket triple neck, the coolest guitar in the world. I want to trade Dad's guitar for. Let me guess, me dog. Yes, I may not be the best guitarist on the planet, but you could be with a guitar like this. Nah, I prefer a single neck axe. No deal. Oh really? Well, let's see what the dog thinks, shall we? Sugar, the chart. <gasps> Listen up, dog. This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. Never to be repeated. Come with me, and it's a first-class lifestyle. With a luxury penthouse kennel. A private chef. Mountains of luxury hand-rolled sausages. All for you. <laughs> well, do we have a deal? <laughs> Okay then, you got me. It's a deal. Yes! Come along.
on, sugar. And bring the hound. And you can give her to the dog's home. <laughs> Nasha, gone? I, I don't understand. Don't worry, pie face. All will be revealed. <laughs> we'll be seeing Nasha again soon. And we'll be getting rat bucket tickets. Really? Trust me. Oh. oh, stop it! Oh, oh, no! Oh. No! Go for it! Will you please desist? Slow down! Stop! Oh, at last! <laughs> Okay, time to turn this half-baked hearth rug into a full-on fashionista. I'll come pump a bet shop you today, madame. Mm? Nails, please. Mm, I think we're talking industrial pedicure, madame. I'm going in. Ooh! That's some nail. And that was some bag. Uh, onwards! <laughs> That's the way, Nasha. Where is that waiter with our lunch? Ravenous! Madame, Monsieur, your order. Spaghetti and meatballs. Enjoy! Mmm, meatballs. My favourite. <laughs> Pardon, I think Monsieur missed a bit. <laughs> What he's done! My new outfit's ruined! Sugar, come. Let's get this creature home before he embarrasses me anymore! <laughs> Believe me, he's only just getting started. <sighs> well, only seconds to go before midnight. All being well, Nasha should be here just about. Now. Here, take him. Your dog's a menace. He's eaten my best face cream, totally trashed my room, chewed up all my clothes, and scared Daddy's guard dogs witless. Sorry, no can do. He's all yours now. What? No! Tripe hands are so yesterday. Sorry. No, wait! Wait! <laughs> I don't know. A deal's a deal. What else do you want? Hmm, I know. How about tickets for the gig? Tickets, you say? Hmm, might be nice. No problem. Sugar, give him the tickets. As many as you want. Anything. Just say you'll take this monster back. What do you think, Nasha? Do you want to come back? <sighs> <laughs> so, do we have a deal? Deal? Yes. Make a note, sugar. Tripe pounds are out. Permanently. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're off to see Rat Bucket after all, Nasha. Thanks to you. Result! <laughs> hey, wait a minute. These are tickets for last year's gig! Athena! Oh boy, what's Walter up to now? 
You can fashion pepper into objects of exquisite beauty. Objects of beauty? Hmm, good. And also give your enemies a good scare. <gasps> scare my enemies? Huh, even better! One more lesson and you will be a black belt in origami. <laughs> messes with me now, they'll feel the wrath of my flying rabbit! Not to mention my dancing giraffe! Ah! There was this big shadow on his window, like a rabbit or something. Maybe Walter's turned into a rabbit. He's always eating lettuce. Ah! Ah! Oh, sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Yeah, you did I? You know, with my origami hawk. <laughs> origami? Isn't that making flowers out of paper napkins? That's just for beginners. I do the martial arts version. I am the prince of paper, the phantom of the fold, the oligarch of origami. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't care what sort of Ollie what's it you are. That stuff's for wussies. My martial art's much better. Oh, really? And which martial art would that be? It's called, um, uh, Dendo. Hi! <laughs> Very impressive. Told you! <laughs> better than your paper folding any time! A little contest then. Morning break on Thursday. Origami versus Dendo. Okay, bring it on. <laughs> Most important thing in martial arts, you got to know how to fall. So, what's Dendo then, Den? I've never heard of it. Ah, yes, uh, that's because it's secret, Pie Face, known only to a select few. Well, just me, really. So, explain it to me again, Den. You reckon with this dendo, you'll be able to take on Walter in a martial arts contest? Come off it, Curly! It's Walter! I'll uh, brush up on some of the finer points. And I know just the right sparring partner. <laughs> that's, that's right, Nasha. You've got to concentrate. There's more to dendo than meets the eye. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll go easy on you. Hey! -ya! Look, Nasha, and anyway, you can't just jump out of the way. I've really got to fine-tune me dendo skills or I'll look like an idiot in front of Walter. All right, let's try again. Now you must prepare for the ultimate origami challenge. I'm ready, Master. First, you fold the paper like this and this. Like this and this. And then... You have created the mightiest weapon of origami. The fearsome pecking duck. Yes, I've got it. The pecking duck. Now, you truly are a black belt in origami. But remember, as the sensei has said, a little pecking is a dangerous thing. Yes. Yes, a dangerous thing. Peck, peck. <laughs> you know what, Nasha? Either you'll have to take on Walter, or I'll have to get some help. I must consult the one whose words bring light to the unenlightened, the wise one. Dennis! Oh, you startled me. Sorry, Gran. Oh, no matter. What can I do for you? Well, the thing is, I've got into this martial arts contest with Walter. Enough. Favourite grandson. 
I know you have entered into a foolhardy enterprise which could put life and limb at risk. You think? Even though it's only Walter in his soppy origami? Of course! Haven't you ever had a paper cut? Oh, it can really hurt. So, listen to me carefully. To gain victory, you must harmonise with the spirit of the universe. Spirit of the universe? Yeah! You must call upon your inner strength. Inner strength, right. But most importantly, you must enter into this contest at one with the forces of nature. Forces of nature, gotcha. Come, we will consult the writings of the masters. Oh. So, favourite grandson, do you understand what you must do? Even though you will be mocked by your enemies? I understand, oh wise one. No matter what they say, I will be sure to follow the forces of nature. Very well. Go! And shut the door after you! Oh, there's a shocking draft in here! I need more time to prepare, Walter. Make the contest after school on Thursday, instead of morning break. Ha! <laughs> Very well. But make sure you turn up. We don't want people thinking you're chicken, <laughs> do we? <laughs> don't worry. I'll be there. I don't get it, then. Why are you letting them get away with that? Don't worry, Pie Face. When the time of battle comes, I will be at one with the forces of nature. Let the contest begin! to water. <laughs> I've just remembered. It's time for after school club. <laughs> Come along, chaps. Looks like there's more to Dendo than I thought. Ooh, that was a close thing, Den. No, it wasn't, Pie Face. I followed the way of Dendo. I was at one with the forces of nature. You mean you knew it was going to rain? Of course I did. Gran told me. There you go, Dennis. The weather forecast says it's going to rain on Thursday afternoon. All you've got to do is switch the contest to then. <laughs> Dennis, you are truly a master of Dendo. Yes, you must school us in its mystic ways. I will, Curly, and together we shall overcome the wusses of origami. Ow! Uh, 
didn't see you. Quite all right, Dennis. Nothing can spoil my mood today. I've got some good news. Guess what? I've been promoted. I'm the new Deputy Assistant Supervisor of Sticky Tape. That's brilliant, dear. Yes, once I've done the Sticky Tape training course, it'll all be confirmed. I'm sure you'll do well. Oh, I hope so. There's one other thing, though. The new job's in a different part of the company, in Drano Town. What? Drano Town's a dump. Well, yeah, it's certainly too far to commute. We'll have to move. Move? We can't move. We like it here, don't we, Nasha? <laughs> and in Drano Town, we'll be able to afford a better house. But there's nothing wrong with this house. It's as solid as a rock. That'd be nice. Though we'd have to sell this one first. And, and another thing. What about Curly and Pieface? All me friends are here in Beano Town. Oh, don't be silly, Dennis. You can always make new friends. Anyway, dear, well done. Drano Town, here we come. Huh. We'll see about that. <laughs> Enjoy your course. <gasps> Good news, Colonel. Dennis is moving. So I see. Well, it'll certainly make the job of the neighbourhood watch a lot easier. <laughs> I'll say. According to my calculations, we spend 89.6% of our time chasing Dennis. Indeed. But let's not count our chickens. Dennis is a Beano Town boy through and through. I don't think he's going to go quietly. <laughs> I'm just off to the shops, Dennis. OK, Mom. And remember, the estate agent will be bringing people to look at the house later. So just stay out of the way, OK? <laughs> Curly, alert Pie Face and get on over here. It's time for Operation Stay Put. Yeah, here we are. It's a nice, quiet neighbourhood, as you can see. Oh, I hope so. When I meditate, I must have the right vibrations. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. This garden is speaking to me. It will be my peaceful sanctuary. Yes. Okay, boys! One, two, three, four! Uh, but you did say you wanted uh, uh, vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, boys. She won't be moving in any time soon. Uh, garden's not bad. A bit tame for my liking. OK, hold your noses, everyone. Here goes one of me own patented extreme stinker stink bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I like to get out in the fresh air and get back to nature. Oh, what's that? Ugh. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's completely natural. <laughs> <laughs> So, Dennis is trying to put people off buying his house, is he? Time to mobilise the Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee. Now, as quickly as you can, deploy the sticky tape to create the perfect parcel. Now... <coughs> <gasps> you know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. <gasps> oh, the kennel garden. Oh, she's scary. Yeah, but she's got one weakness. Her pet chihuahuas. <laughs> Yeah, this is it, Mrs. Uh, Barkington Wagstaff. I think you'll find it's uh, deceptively spacious. Well, it looks nice from the outside, but is there enough room for my little babies? <laughs> All right.
right, Nasha. Now! <laughs> You little fellows! Oh no! Not so fast, young chap. It's Walter and the Colonel. They're going to ruin everything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't mention it, madam. It's what the neighborhood watch is for, isn't it, Colonel? Of course. We always like to look out for our little doggy friends. Even monsters like that one? Oh, don't worry about him, madam. He'll be gone when they move. Hmm, I see. Well, with dog-loving neighbours like you, this might be just the house for us. <laughs> Shall we have a look inside? Don't worry, Den. We'll come and visit you in Drano Town. That's not even funny, Pieface. No, it's not. And anyway, I'm not beaten yet. I'll think of something. I'm just calling your father. Oh, hello, dear. How's the course going? Oh, uh, quite well, I think. Marvellous. So what time will you be back? About four o'clock. I am looking forward to coming home. Me too, dear. See you later. Oh. Dad will be back at four. He's looking forward to coming home. We've got to do something to convince Dad to stay here, Nasha. But what? <laughs> Hang on. Mum says he's looking forward to coming home. Maybe if he got a really big welcome back, he wouldn't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, we could sing a song and, and put a banner up and... No, wait. I've got an even better idea. The kennel warden likes the house, Nasha. She's coming to look at it again at four o'clock. But I'm going to make sure she doesn't buy it. I've got a foolproof plan. <laughs> Just as I thought, Walter's fallen for it. Red alert, Colonel! The kennel warden's looking at Dennis's house again! At four o'clock! Excellent news, Walter! Yes, but the trouble is, Dennis is planning to put her off! Don't worry, Walter. He's not the only one with a plan. We'll make sure she stays and Dennis goes. Four o'clock! That'll be her! Right then. Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee, quick march! Just as I thought, Nasha, Walter and the Colonel are pulling out all the stops. Welcome, Committee, roll out, red carpet! Lovely cake. A red carpet, too. Oh. 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 Hi, Dad. Welcome home. Hello, son. How have you been? You know what, Dennis? I was already having second thoughts about that job. And now, to come home to a welcome like this... Well, how could we possibly live anywhere else? Result! Well, sticky tape's not all it's cracked up to be. And let's face it, I'm a rubber band man at heart. You don't mind not moving, do you? Of course not. If you're happy to stay here, so am I. No place like home, eh, Dad? Exactly, son. There's no place like home. Oh, you! We've waited 
you told them to do the park up. It's got to be the most amazing park in the world. Yeah, imagine all the brilliant slides and roundabouts you could build in a year. Yeah, maybe they've got water slides and, and a roller coaster. Yay! <laughs> Hang on, where's all the fun stuff? Where's my roller coaster? Maybe the play park's been moved because it's so big and great. Ah, well, we're here now. Might as well make the best of it. Hooray! <laughs> on me head, pie face! I got it, I got it! Come on this way! Hey, over to me! Oi, you lot! Can't you see the sign? No ball games! We're just playing, mister. I'm not going to win Park of the Year with scruffs like you around. We're just having a bit of fun. I said no ball games. Ah, no one messes with parky bowls. Cooey, Dennis! Isn't it lovely, Dennis? Look at these daisies be picked for me. Daisies? Please! <gasps> This is just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Fancy a game, Dennis? Don't push your luck. Chess in the park. Rally the troops! Fire cannons! Boy, what's your game? No cannons in the park! Didn't you see the sign? But I've been doing these historical reenactments for years. Everyone likes the Colonel's battles. Yes, it's a park tradition. Oh, those park daisies, madam. Oh, um, um... No battles. I'm not having it. Now, clear off. Or I'll have the law on a lot of you. Go on. You've not heard the last of this, you horrid little man. What a rotten day this has turned into. That rotten parky has ruined the place. Dennis, look! Hey, things are looking up. <sighs> it's all the old park stuff. The parky dumped it all. How could he? My favourite swing. Here's that dent from when I fell on the slide. They look like giant dinosaur bones, don't they, Nasha? <laughs> Dinosaur bones! Hey, that gives me an idea! Come on, lads! Maybe we'll get our great day in the park after all! Well, it's taken all day. Well, that's the last of it, Dennis. Good! Just time to get to the park before it closes. Now, will you tell us what you're up to? Absolutely! Nasha, would you do the honours? <laughs> <gasps> it's a oh my! <laughs> it's a pond monster! <laughs> 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 Got him! Hardest turn, boys! <gasps> this can't happen! Not on the first day! <laughs> oh, hey, get back! Here! Can't you see the signs? <laughs> 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 that fixed him! Full speed ahead! <laughs> are all about. Come on, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's have that football game we've waited a year for. Right then, time for kick-off. Did you see the monster, young man? Monster? Uh... Oh, hang on. There's Walter and Parky Bowles. 
Potter, how does it feel to be the only one with actual pictures of a monster? I just want to help science in any way I can. Parky Bowls, a whole year working on the park, and now everyone just wants to see the monster. Will this affect your chance of winning Park of the Year? Oh, yes, absolutely. I put my life and soul into this park. You've said you believe the monster is a hoax. Is that right? Of course it's a hoax. Come on, lads. Park is getting suspicious. Let's go. How could a giant monster exist in a pond this size without us all knowing about it, eh? Mark my words, this is the work of rival park keepers trying to spoil my park. The park's worse than ever now. Yes. Thought that with that monster scaring everyone away, I could have my Waterloo reenactment. Now all these monster hunters are here. If only that monster would come back and scare them off again. Um, I don't think that's very likely, Colonel. What's that? Well, we built the monster to show that rotten parky. You built it? Well done. Serves him right, too. Yeah, but, um, <clears throat> we crashed it in the trees. Crashed, eh? Well, we just need to mount a salvage operation, then, eh? Oh, uh, what? Where is it? Ooh, it's freezing out here. Here ah! I am, being blended into that bush for 40 minutes. Well, why didn't you see? Well, it's my personal best in blending. <laughs> Right, lads, let's get kitted out. We'll soon have this Hulk rescued from the ocean floor. What's all this stuff? Scuba gear from my Navy days. Special ops. But the monster's stuck in the trees. It's still in the water, though, isn't it? Plus, you can't have a salvage operation without scuba gear. It wouldn't be right. Why has mine got a palm tree on it? Yes. Well, uh, blending in again, you see. Never know when you'll need to hide in the palm trees. So you didn't just get the stuff on holiday, then? Uh, let's get this monster back out of the water, shall we? Now, I know all about animals, and if there was a pond monster, it'd be a lot smaller, not the size of a whale. I've no doubt this is a ruse by jealous park keepers. Yeah, trying to trash my lovely park. Is Parky Bowls right, or are we walking into the jaws of a giant monster? Let's find out. Jeff, get the witch. <laughs> <laughs> It's too heavy. We'll never get it back in the water. Ah! We've got a bite, viewers. Good. We'll soon have evidence to expose these rotten hoaxers. Gosh, <laughs> looks like you were right, Parky Bowls. It is a hoax. Deliberate sabotage, as I thought. Of course, I wasn't scared. A monster that size couldn't exist. There's simply not enough for it to eat in our pond. That was close. Come on, lads. Let's get out of here. You're right, Nasha. We've lost the Colonel. Yeah, you see? This is clearly a slide. Uh, these are swing chains and... What's that? As I was saying, it's just a hunk of metal. Real monsters are green and slimy, aren't they? <laughs> and for something to survive on the fish in this pond, as I said, it'd have to be much smaller. How much smaller, exactly? Well, I suppose about the size of a man. Hang on, over there. There's something in the bushes. This tin can doesn't even have flippers. <laughs> you mean flippers like those? <laughs> yes, exactly like that. <laughs> ah! A There are real live monsters here. Stay away from Beano Town Park! Leg it! <laughs> I see. How about helping a chap out with his mask, eh? Got stuck in those weeds. <laughs> Looks like we've got our park back. And we don't need slides and swings to have fun here either. No, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that mangy cur scared the life out of me. Come here, you hairy little wretch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 